thinking about how everything looks apocalyptic outside all over the state of California because of all the fires. Yeah. 7,000 fires so far this year in the state of California. 900 currently burning. We should really rake our forests better. We, we should rake them better. Yeah, yeah, that's I our really fault. I'm sure that's our fault. If we would just rake the forests because yep. better, better, because we've been doing an yeah, okay yeah, yeah, job. We do okay. How job. all of us go out and we rake the forests. Yeah. And if you don't know what we're talking about, you're better off for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid rags with you, it's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. Oh, 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 bang. Oh, oh. Also, no person you YouTube dance links right down there in the description. In 3D. Today, we're reacting to a food video. Great, and I'm hungry. And it's our favorite guy, best ever food review show. Love him. This one's called Whole Indian Sheep. A, what? A whole Indian sheep. Whole Indian sheep chukka with Village Food Factory. Okay, so my suspicion is it's a recipe that uses the entire animal. I would, I would hope so. In, right? And you should if you are killing an animal. Uh, everything should be used. Try to, as best as you can, uh, facilitate the entire animal. Uh, village cooking is a famous YouTube concept in many parts of Asia, and there are many successful channels in India on this concept. The village Food Factory is a such famous channel, and in this video, Best Ever Food Review Show, collaborated. Okay, great. So he's collaborating with collaborating with some other channel that's really popular in Asia. Here we go. That was great. <laughs> There's a food niche on YouTube that millions are watching, but even more know nothing about. I'm not talking about foodie ASMR or outrageous eating challenges. I'm talking about village food channels. Through the power of YouTube, motivated creators from all over the world are able to make a living by picking up a camera and telling the stories of food all around them. Love it. From Around Me BD, a village food channel in Bangladesh with over half a billion views. Mui Ming Te, a Vietnamese village food channel based in the Mekong Delta. Oh, oh I love this. And my new friends at Village Food Factory. That is. A South Indian channel whose most popular video reached over 50 million people. Today, I'm in India, joining Village Food Factory in their first ever collaboration. Their channel is blowing food channels out of the water. I'll get a behind the scenes look at how they make a video that millions are dying to see. Today's venue, homemade mutton, seasoned and spiced with daddy's secret masala Ooh. blend. This was a whole sheep like a few hours ago, and then now look at all this food. This is incredible. But before we start, I gotta know, why do they call him daddy? Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my talk show. Today we have special guest, Village Food Factory, and by my side is Irfan from Irfan's View. My name is Sunny from the Best Ever Food Review Show. <laughs> Today we're just outside the city of Chennai at a local orphanage. The plan is to cook up a feast and share it with the children here. Something Village Food Factory does often after preparing huge amounts of food. First of all, all three of our channels are here. It's an epic collaboration, and I want to say thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is Arumugam, the face of Village Food Factory. You may know him as Daddy. Why do people call you Daddy? So his son, when he shoots it, he calls him Daddy. Ah, so now everybody calls him Daddy. <laughs> yeah. 64 years old and still kicking out unique recipes several times a week for the world to see. This man knows his way around the kitchen, especially when the kitchen is a fire pit in the middle of nowhere. Dang. I noticed you have six fingers on one hand. Seven fingers. You have seven fingers? Yeah. Left side seven fingers, right side six fingers. Oh, oh, terrific. Very unique. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Today we are eating a sheep. How are you going to cook it? Mutton chuka. Mutton chuka is a local dish in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. You can find it all over in restaurants, each with their own style. But today, I'm lucky enough to taste Arumugam's recipe directly. <laughs> Step one, dispatch one sheep, draining its blood. Did he kill it in the hollow way? Yes, he did. He said a little prayer and then he cut it. And then the important thing is when you do halal, you are taking all the blood outside. It's impurity, he said. I've eaten a lot of blood in my day. <laughs> one, two. Then you don't think just chew. It's one of those shocking foods because there's blood in it. Wow, it's actually good. This is really blowing my mind. A lot of people don't like that though. I've seen. Remove the skin and take out the organs. We'll need those later. Do we eat the balls? Uh, people eat it, but I don't eat it. I don't like it. Let's ask Daddy. Uh, Trevor. Uh, if you say, yeah, we can eat. Oh, do you think you can bend your rules for today? Yeah, later. Yeah, sure. We'll do. <laughs> This video is kind of half about the preparation of the sheep, but also about how these guys operate. Right now they're essentially staging a thumbnail. The thumbnail is so important, that's like your movie <laughs> poster for the video. That's so a, it needs to be picture. appealing, appetizing, interesting, create curiosity so people will click on it. Epic thumbnails. Something many village food channels seem to have in common, and the more epic, the wow. better. Some might call it photoshopping, but I call it artistic alterations through the use of software enhancements. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, he blew the lungs up! Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? This man just inflated these sheep lungs. They look very bright and healthy now. Daddy, <laughs> the sheep? Not smoking. And I smoke. Chin up, eyes bright, smile wide, snap a pic, and that is how you make a million dollar thumbnail. We are on a tight schedule. The kids are in class now, but they've got to eat soon. The entire sheep is chopped into tiny pieces, including the head and organs. Then it's rinsed clean a few times with water. Ingredients are ready, time to cook. When we touch the wood, do this. Indian food is all about the spices, and Village Food Factory's menu you is no that. exception. Daddy, what do you call this pan? Got it. Our pan is right here. Coriander. Oh, coriander. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I did the wrong one. Oh, then we got cumin seeds, pepper, peppercorns, yeah. red chili. Red chili. Oh, that is gonna be spicy. This is their daily life. Daddy does the cooking, the oldest son does the filming, editing, and thumbnail design, and the next oldest son helps with everything else. Their shooting style is simple and straightforward. I have a good shot for my Not like those overproduced food shows that count on tons of cutting and music to keep your attention. They shoot with a DSLR and edit videos in such a way that you feel like you are there alongside them. In this channel, 28 percentage people are watching less from US. Really? Yeah. For me, 32 percent. So similar. That's crazy. I believe it's this real and simple look into rural life and village Indian cooking that's grabbed the attention of millions. And all those people are gonna watch us eat sheep spleen right now. Are we gonna eat that like a popsicle? Like ice cream? Very very tasty. Very tasty. Okay. Take a look at that. It's got a little bit of carcinogens oh, on the outside. But the inside, that's kind of what it looks like. It's just kind of a dull brown. All right, so we're dicing it into little pieces. Oh, it's still steaming great. hot off the fire. It's a spoon. Oh, bite it? Okay, you can have that piece. <laughs> that's probably close to liver. It's like a liver pate. There you Very go. charred on the outside, but there's no salt or anything on here. You just do it on the skewer and put it on the fire. It's good? Very nice. Oh, you're hungry. I'll have a little bit more. Yes! Look at this one. Oh, it's a little red in the middle. But he's eating a red piece too, so I think it's got to be fine, right? I gotta say, it's alright. But you're a big fan. Back to the mutton chuka. Spices are roasted, time to grind. Then take a huge pot and add water. Bay leaves, cloves, star anise, cinnamon, and the mutton. The whole animal became just little bite-sized pieces of bones and everything in there. Even the head of this sheep, they even chunked into these little pieces that you see in here. Add turmeric and salt. While that boils, I get a chance to learn how Village Food Factory operates behind the lens. Speaking with Arumugam's oldest son, Gopina. How long did it take you to make money from the channel? Just three months. What the? 
<laughs> wow! It took me like 1.5 years. See? <laughs> they were making money in like, three months. He's like, this guy sucks at this. This is, this is the magic of YouTube. Nobody here approached a powerful wow. film studio in India and pitched a cooking show idea yeah. to executives. They picked up a camera and got to work and went from obscurity to authority. How has YouTube changed your life? Yeah. Before this, he even had a rental car, but now he has his own car. Phone house. Phone new house? Yes. New house. When did you get the house? For near uh, seven months later. Appa, you come back. Daddy, you come back. We get a tattoo. Before you know, nobody respected. Yeah. Like, did you hear that? Like, but now, uh, everybody wants to see daddy. For anyone who's flirted with yeah. the idea yeah. of starting a channel, appearing on screen, or picking up a camera, if you're looking for your sign to go ahead and get started, this is it. These guys are an inspiration Ooh. and a symbol of possibility. Are you worried about running out of ideas? Cooking on the uh, other innovation. Cooking on the endless. He said he's not afraid. Cooking is an innovation, so he can create more and more in the coming days. Mm, that's amazing. Yeah, I agree. Guys, we're halfway through the cooking process, so he's gonna put some of the broth into these cups here. I don't know about all this stuff being metal. That is incredibly hot. Very like <laughs> mutton and turmeric kind of smell to it. Mmm, it's like almost creamy. It's so fatty. That's very yummy. Look at this. It's kind of like a mutton tea. Mutton soup. Mutton tea. <laughs> it's very delicious. It's just super fatty, a tons of mutton flavor and, and some salt. It's like an appetizer. Yeah. Okay. The dish is not yet complete, but Daddy cannot help but give me a taste of steaming <laughs> hot mutton. Okay, here we go. Love Daddy. Daddy, I love it. Oh, mm, uh huh. More broth. <laughs> it's delicious. Mmm, sticky, chewy mutton. I love it. It's like I got the broth, I got the meat, the yes. perfect marriage. Like father and mother. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that is the best. The match is the day she says. Mmm, this is good stuff, man. The kids are having recess, and we are at an all out sprint. Next, in a hot oiled pan, add curry leaves, dried chilies, shallots, garlic, and ginger paste. Wow. All these ingredients are getting nice and happy together inside. Can I eat it now? Can I eat now? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, I was joking. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> add in Arumu Gum's homemade masala, reintroduce the meat, then bring back a bit of broth until it becomes thick. I'm really earning my kip here. Here we go, it's done. Look at this masterpiece. It looks so good. What I can't believe is this. This was a whole sheep like a few hours ago. And then now look at all this food. This is incredible. How many people can eat this? I think he said if they're my size, we can feed four or five people. <laughs> the smell is mesmerizing. It's just very rich, oily. I'm gonna just start with an onion. It looks incredible. You know it's good when even the onions are good. It soaked up all the flavor. <laughs> Are you saying yeah, suck, suck the yeah, marrow out, baby. literally every bone of the sheep into this beautiful creation. You have a bone too? Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Wow, warm, rich, fatty. All the marrow is gone from inside now. It just sucked right out. Yeah, yes, you gotta be determined to get this bone marrow out. Here's a nice piece. Oh. This blend of seasonings is just so delicious. The cumin's coming through, the peppercorn. Every part is perfectly cooked. You kind of never know what you're biting into, but that's kind of the fun of it. What is your favorite part? Liver. Liver. Let's try some liver. Of course it is, because he loved the kidneys. He mm. likes them really Genuinely deep. delicious. Oh my god. The final thing Perfect we have to do, parts. we're going to share all this food with these kids next. <laughs> The fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves are you turn to gold Like I did with you those summers ago we are taking care of the students with family, mm -hmm. me, my mom and dad and my wife. Our main goal is to give good education to the kids and our hope is in coming generation they will be a engineer, a doctor, mm -hmm. a lawyer or what about a food show host? Would that be okay if they hosted a food show? Yeah. That would be okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the 
For Village Food Factory, their plan is to keep going, keep making more fun food videos. Yeah. And as their channel grows, they've even considered shooting around and outside of India. As far as they're concerned, the possibilities are endless. Was the mutton good? Yummy! Finally, the best ever India road trip has come to an end. From Mumbai to Chennai, we've traveled hundreds of miles and met locals who've made lifelong impressions. This is the India I know. Hospitable, friendly, kind, and always willing to share some damn good food. It has been a huge pleasure meeting you today, working with you, and most of all, trying your food and learning about your success. So thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Also, Irfan, thank you for introducing me to everybody. Please subscribe to these guys. They're doing tons of huge scale, interesting food videos. Please subscribe to this guy. He's doing food reviews throughout India and soon beyond India. And if you're traveling to Vietnam, let me recommend adventuring alongside a guide from One Trip. One Trip is the highest rated tour company. Ooh, I, like, uh, I always like his videos. I do too. Yeah, he's really great. Good. And that was a really interesting one. Very different as well. Yeah. Um, I've never heard of this other. I, I've heard of that style of channel where it's a village right. cook cooking food. Yep. Uh, that and just shot in gorilla style. Just that boom. one specifically. I I don't think I've ever had mutton still. Oh really? Unless we did we have it in India? I know you had. No, it. we had it in Mumbai. You didn't need any. Really? Yeah, there was a small. It was when we were eating at one of the last places we ate, and uh, we had several items. And I remember you were to my right, and Johnny was to my left. No, it what? No, it was the the place. Um, I wish I could remember what it was. And we had we had a lot of little small dishes. Oh no, that we no, were we tasting. did. I think we had it multiple times in Rajasthan. And you ate it, the palace, because it gave everybody some. Yeah, no, I we think had, you did have we, some there. We had it at the palace. Yeah, okay, sorry. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Any old who, but yeah, the best, the best food. People always ask me all the time of all the places I've eaten and all of the food we've eaten in places is there's never been anything that I thought was bad, but I still the, the most delicious food I've tasted were two different dishes and one of them was a mutton dish in in Calcutta. Calcutta. Yeah, two dishes in Calcutta. One was a shrimp dish. Um, was it the atmosphere or the food that you really liked? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I, it's interesting to know if I can disassociate I how great the food was in the company. I don't but think the, it you can. really, it really, those two things were spectacular. You could have been eating delicious. movie theater popcorn. We did that too. <laughs> Best popcorn I've ever had in my life. <laughs> of course it was. Is that, you've never made mutton though? I've never made it. Part of it is the availability. That's a much more available protein yeah. in India versus here. There is a place, uh, I've looked into it before, that does exotic game, because that would be considered, even though it's you're like exotic, yes, because it's not common here. What's common here in the stores? Beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. That's Those are the common proteins. Yeah. If you want mutton, if you want uh, tiger. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, there's uh, a, a place, it's probably about a half hour drive away that I've never gotten anything from, but I know they carry it. Oh, so okay. uh, it, it can be done. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, yeah. That food looked fantastic. It really did. And I love that they fed everybody, which is usually the case in most places. And one of my favorite things, I remember watching a show for a, a, a guy who went to Africa and I'm not a fan by any stretch of the amount. Big game hunting man, trophy hunting. You want to get me mad? We can talk about that. This guy went with a tribe. Yeah, they were going to go out and hunt anyway to feed the tribe, mm. and he accompanied them, and they gave him the honor of being the one to actually take down the animal that they were bringing back to the entire tribe, and they fed everybody, and it was this big celebration. He was honored to be a part of it. That kind of thing is is something I love learning about and watching and I had, I had no idea about these guys. Yeah. Yeah. And it's no it's no wonder they're doing really well. I mean, the 70% of their audience is American advertising dollars. Yeah. Come on. I think our American audience is around 10%. Yeah. That's I think that's what ours is. Obviously most of them come from India and then obviously it's sporadic the rest yeah, of the world. Yeah. That's 130 other countries, but obviously food is a lot more universal. Yes. And I, Americans are a lot more interested. Yes. Sadly, Americans are not as interested in other countries' films. 
Right. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great if they were as interested in their art as they was their cuisine? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Someday. Someday. We'll get there. Let us know more food videos we can react to down below.